sweet. Uh, I'm one of those kids that grew up in Radio Shack and I used to play with all the little goodies. These are my three diodes for my left directional, right directional, and parking lights is what I'm going to connect it to. Um, this one I've actually had for a while. It's a super bright 10 millimeter blue LED. I am going to wire that eventually so that whenever the car is on, the, um, the Chevrolet at the bottom of the dash is lit up. Just because I can. It's one of those cool things. Everybody go, hey, that's pretty cool. These are extra lights for the um, directional switch. I think the one that's in there is no good. Or it's 6 volt. I was there and they were a couple bucks, so I got two. This is a uh, voltage regulator. No matter what you put this thing through, uh, you can put up to, I think it's 30, 35 volts. It will trim it down to 5. Why would you need 5? Well, LEDs don't run on 12 volts from a car. Uh, they run on 2.5. Actually, I think the most you can put is 3.6 through them, and then they go pop. Um, just a thing to have. And Dad made a cool heat sink for it. Dad and I, um, a while back up the street, this old guy had passed away and his wife threw all, the way, all of his stuff away. She's loading the street with boxes and boxes of stuff. This was one of the things she gave me. Uh, she gave me all his electronic stuff. Remember these things? I mean, these must have had, he must have had this thing forever. 89 cents? 79 cents? This is a little one. Um, what I want to do is, I don't have my gauges yet. Um, I don't have my exhaust. I can't mess with any of that stuff. So I'm going to mess with some little stuff. And one of those little things is I want to make all of the gauges when I get the gauges. I'm going to light up with LEDs instead of the incandescent light bulbs like these that are really weak. And um, I was at Radio Shack and I'm going, hey, I remember making a, um, a three color LED when I was a kid. And I went to Radio Shack and I'll be damned. Guy says, what do you want three for? They got seven colors now. Red, green, blue, purple, yellow, orange. There's all kinds of colors from this one little LED. And they can uh, rotate, they can blink, or they can be solid colors. So it could be a hidden button under the dash. Makes uh, You press a button and it goes through different modes. I mean, real simple stuff for me. Um, like I said, I made all those Radio Shack products, so this is nothing. So that's something. I'm thinking all my gauges are going to have one of these in it. Because it's brighter and, hey, it can be different colors. Who cares? Um, but I'm going to build it all into one of these projects cases and just have extensions come off and go to each gauge. And they'll plug into, you know, the light sockets of each one. Just because I can. I found my ground strap. There's a real copper ground strap. Uh, there's really nothing connecting my engine to the frame. And it's on rubber mounts front and rear. So i got to have something metal to metal. That's my ground strap. I'll put that right there for now. I uh, went over... Well, Don, Don came over here, and he goes, hey, you've got a, uh, not that you have a Stuart Warner gauge, he says, you've got a green line. You can see this. That thing has a green ring around it, and uh, it's the oil pressure gauge, and uh, he goes, I think I got one of them brand new in a box somewhere. He comes back a few minutes later, and he had, <coughs> let me close this. Oh, you can't see it. A brand new oil pressure gauge. Let's get my flashlight. There it is. There's no lights on this side of the garage. A brand new ammeter gauge. That's what it is. And it's a green line. It matches. So I took all the other ones out. I'm going to look for these. I want uh, volts, oil pressure, whatever I can. If uh, anybody has one, let me know. But I'll wait for my Speedo to show up. And I'm going to go look for these Stuart Warner gauges. It has a green ring around the middle. Now my fuel gauge is over here, and like I said, let me put this down. They really don't match anything. I don't know if they make this in the green line, but I'm fine with this one. It's not in the dash. It's under the uh, side of the passenger seat. I'm fine with that one being over there. But um, I'm bored, so I'm going to take all of this pretty much cheap free stuff and... Uh, Put it together and make something. Not right away, not instant. It isn't going to be done in an hour. I'm going to read things and websites and stuff and have fun. This is something really to do when I'm in the house. Which, uh, today it is cold out. I don't know why, but it's cold out. 
Um, I was going through my archives and I came across two of these. Now my car has um, air ride suspension and these are the really old air pressure gauges. They go to 160. The most I'll need it for is 30 or 40. But uh, it's got those little half moons and I have to know the pressure of my air ride front and rear. Not really if you set it up right, but I thought those were pretty cool. Um, these are the lights from the dash of the bus. And I'll tell you, I plugged them in. Very weak. I was going to use those as lights for the gauges, but they aren't bright at all. They're, they're horrible. It's like running a 12 volt light bulb on uh, 6 volts. So, wherever you are, old man, this case is for you. We're going to use that case you never use. I think we'll use the big one. Okay, I'm on the garage having fun. I am going to wire my uh, diodes right now. My left, right, and parking lights. Um, this wire here. That's the wire that goes all the way up to the steering column. We have the directional switches. This goes to the light bulb in it. So, I'm going to put my diode trio together. And uh, I'll show you that working. We're going to do some soldering and crimping and all that happy stuff. And i got to look this up too. I know how it connects, but... Of course, being over here, I'm in the light, so this is all free stuff, except for you know, two dollars, two dollars, two dollars, three dollars. I think I spent all of eight dollars today. Everything else I've had in the electronics drawer there, the uh, electrical drawer. Okay, let's put some of this stuff together, mostly my diodes. Now, what I did is I wire tied my three diodes together side by side. I don't know if you can see that, and soldered them to a uh, female stake-on connector. And I'm going to have three wires coming out here. Now the band on the diodes is towards the light bulb. So there'll be three wires coming off here, left, right, and parking lights. This has got to plug into my thing, but I'm going to put some shrink tube over that or tape or something. Uh, i got three wires. I don't think I'm going to tin them and solder them and cut the lead short. And Hook it all up and uh, good to go.
Okay, all three diodes are in the uh, in the tree, as you see, or in line with the silver bands pointing towards the light bulb. I put a shrink tube on each one, and I got a shrink tube over the collar, and I got one big piece. I'm gonna put over the whole thing, so if I can find it. <clears throat> Side by side, I could have staggered them and made them fit better and everything, but like that. They're all shrimp too, they look good. <coughs> Here's my three wires, I'm gonna trim them up. Put a, what I need in a male and two wing terminals. No, I need three wing terminals. The females right pause for a minute. What I like to do is fold it over I trim about uh, half an inch, less than that even, quarter of an inch. Fold it over and then shove it in. Hope it's good. Hope it's real good. And I put vice grips. I don't like crimpers. Crimpers suck. Put that way. I put it right up to the ring the edge of the terminal coating the cover. And I make sure it's flat. Okay, that's not coming out. That's what these do.
Kerosene heater. Well, cannon heater. Does the trick every time. Just keep it, uh, you know, four or five inches away. Don't stand there with it, especially with the diodes. I didn't heat them that long. But there's my diode tree. Okay, let's put it in and see if it works. One's pink. Why not? Nobody's going to see it. Well, in testing it, I found that the uh, the little light bulb was junk. It's all black, see it? The new bulbs I had bought just by chance were a little bit bigger, but they fit because it goes on a hollow tube. Um, the other thing, too, was the socket. The little brass pin had broken off the wire on the inside of the uh, switch. So I took a single, another 1156, an extra that I had, and I stole the whole wire from it. And I put it in and tested it and it does work so this is going in and I'm going to wire it up okay well here's my little diode tree power to the light I fixed the light the light works here's my three leads the two orange one goes to left one goes to right directional the third one actually goes to that little toggle switch with the blue light. Everything seems to lead to the blue light. Now when the blue light's on, the little red light comes on here. So you couldn't leave your interior light on. Not that it matters because when you shut the key off, it would go off anyway. But uh, I had an extra and I'll tell you why. Um, if I wired it to the headlights, it kind of dragged a little bit. Uh, I know they wired correctly, but uh, I didn't want it that way. And when it came down to it, the reason this red light is here is because when you shut the power off, of course. Now here's my left directional, which would be down on this thing. And of course, right directional would be up if my dash wasn't in the way. Well, the reason for the red light was parking my uh, emergency flashers, rather. And it works. Now... To wire it in line with that, when you put your parking, when you put your directional on and you put your flashes on, don't work. Just, uh, just the way it was. So I was like, well, I can throw it on that lead. Who cares? I got an extra light, and it doesn't affect anything. Except the fact when the interior light's on, it doesn't blink. So it doesn't blink. If I shut that interior light off, it blinks. So there's a little trick for you, Rich. Nothing's back feeding. Everything's wired right. But uh, it's wired to my interior light. <laughs> I thought it was cool. Who cares? I had an extra wire. i got to fix that light bulb over there, too. But uh, it's kind of late. I've been at Dad's all day. It was Mom's birthday last weekend. I went down this weekend brought her a nice bird planter. Because that's how I am. I mean a bird feeder. Bird planter. I'm going to tuck these wires up underneath, ever so gently. Damn, that's tight. And the diodes are nice and out of the way. It's looking good. I'm going to run out of things to do in here pretty soon. <sighs> One more time. Directional. Right directional line. It's blinking. And your hazard light. Well, you don't want them to blink? Okay. They're on the same circuit. <laughs> so, at least my little switch is working. I had a quickie light I showed up here for you. Okay, guys, I'm going in. Have a good night. Here's how you make a super bright 1156 with an 1157. Solder them together. And does it work? Well, let's turn the key on. A lot better than it was. Have a good night.